guys, welcome back to a new tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create fireworks in Blender. So, yesterday was the 4th of July for people that live in America, and I wanted to create a firework uh, show in Blender for you guys. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So, first, to get started, just open up a new scene and delete the default cube. Press Shift A and add an Icosphere. Make sure it's not a sphere, but an Icosphere. Go and go into edit mode and subdivide that. Once you've done that, Go ahead and give this a material, and uh, just keep it as that. Give it a new particle system. Change the number to about maybe 200. The start and the end at one. The lifetime needs to be around. Keep it 20, and then we're gonna change the randomness. Next, we need to change the normal. So what is the normal? The normal is basically how fast it emits. So let's go ahead and change this. We'll just do 30. Okay, so if we go ahead and see what this looks like, it explodes and it actually looks pretty cool. But the lifetime is way too much. So let's just do... We'll change the randomness a little bit. There we go. And that's pretty much it for that. Let's change the randomness on this just a tiny bit. And we'll change the randomness in the size of this because we're going to be doing that in a second. All right. Under renderer, change the um, type of render to be instead of halo, object. And then go ahead and add three spears or as many spears as you want to uh, for your firework objects. So basically, the little objects that come out of the firework, the flames, and go ahead and give these all new materials. Change it to Cycles Render, click Use Nodes, change the surface to be Emission, and then change the color to be, let's just do red. I'm going to duplicate it, I'm going to press F and then 3, change this to be blue. Duplicate it, same thing, F and then 3. Then change it to be pure white. Okay, once you've done that, change the viewport color. Then now all you need to do is go over to your object, go into the particle systems, uncheck emitter under the du duplicate object or the object you want to do. Check the first sphere. So now what you have is something like that. And you this is very teeny little ball, so you need to make it a little larger. There we go, about as large as you want it to look like. That works right there. Okay. Next up, all you need to do is basically create two more particle systems the same, but with different colors, or with different objects, or you could also do this. Select all the objects, click Control G on them, change the group to be fireworks, go to the object, change the, from, change the uh, render type from object to group, and then select the fireworks. That makes it a little bit more um, easier to deal with instead of creating multiple particle systems. And that is it for that firework part. So now if we zoom out, we should be able to render this and see the firework. Of course, we need to change the background to be black because it's going to be a black sky. And as you can see, it looks okay. It doesn't look the best. It's not glowing. It doesn't look like it has a trail or anything like that to it. So how are we going to fix that? We're actually going to use something called the Node Editor. So down here, you can change it to Node Editor. Click the Node Tree Type to be Compositing. Click Use Nodes. Next, you're going to pull this Composite Node out, add RGB Curves, and we'll just keep that as that, maybe lighten it up a little bit, change the color just a tad bit. Then we need to add a glare. Change it from streaks 
to ghost. And then we'll change the irritation to be three, so keep it at three. The um, quality to be high. And the threshold will will keep the same. So yeah, that works right there. Actually, let's change it to 0.8. Okay. Next on the list, you need to add a blur to where we can blur the firework out. Change the X to be 3 and the Y to be 3. Okay. Pull that out. Right after that, you're going to add a, another glare. Okay. And we're going to change it from... Well, actually, we'll keep it streaks. And we'll do... That's about good right there, I think. Maybe we need to change a couple of things, like maybe threshold needs to be about 0.5. And the streaks need to be 5. Okay. Actually, we'll change this to be 0.25. That works a little bit better. Okay. Next up on the list. Actually, I think that's good right there. If you wanted to, you could add some bright and contrast stuff, but I'm not going to do that. So if we click backdrop here, we can actually see what we, what we want to see, the background. Let's render this. This is what it looks like with a note. It looks pretty terrible. So you go back into the note editor and make sure, let's click auto render right here. And we need a viewer node, so let's, let's add one of those, viewer. Now we can change these nodes to where it changes the scene to make it look just a tad bit better. Okay, so let's go ahead and change this glare right here. It is very, um, let's just say it is very, a lot, over, yeah, just a lot. So let's change the threshold just a tad bit to be about 0.8 see what that does. That makes it a little bit better. Let's do 0.7. There we go. And that looks just about good right there. Then for the blur, let's change it just a tad bit more. Yeah, there we go. Let's make it 5. The ghosts, let's just change the threshold just to be a little bit lower here. See what that looks like. Just a tad bit better right there. Change it one more time. And as you can see, we can see these things right here, basically the ghost of where it comes from. And then there's one more thing we need to do. Let's change the blur back to three. And then we need to enable motion blur. That is very important. Okay, once you've done all that, just render this out. And it looks pretty crazy right now. Let's just look at what this looks like when we're done. This motion blur looks crazy. Let's go ahead and let's change this just a little bit. It really is a lot too over too much. So let's just keep rendering this out. Okay, so, uh, um, why was it doing that? And the reason for that was because we enabled the auto-render right here. You need to keep that disabled. Okay, so now it looks a good bit better. So let's go ahead and go to a little bit of a better frame here. Let's do right there. It looks really cool when it's all in. So as you can see, the firework is splurting out of the object. And then we can render it right here. And it's all out. Okay, so let's go ahead and animate this. So let's go ahead and figure out where the firework stops. About right there. Zoom out just a little bit. And we're gonna click to change the end frame to be about 30. Now all you need to do is animate this, but make sure your make sure your rendering is Instead of PNG, you just make it ABI raw if you're on Windows or Mac. And you can change 
where the file ends up, but I'm not going to, so I'm just going to render this animation and let it run for just a tad bit. Okay, so this is the firework right here. Let's go ahead and change this to be repeat, just to where it repeats, just to where I can talk over it. And okay, let's play. And that is good right there. That looks like a pretty good firework explosion. Now, what you want to do probably is add sounds to this, um, where it looks just a little bit better. Also, what you can do is add multiple fireworks. I will show you an example of that right now. So this is an example of multiple fireworks, just different colors. And we could also uh, make them explode. So after they fire out, you can make them explode again. That would be pretty cool right there. So we, yeah, that is it for this tutorial, guys. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.